It is 7.15 on this Thursday morning. We have an update this morning to a story we first told you about over the summer. Problems continue for Vision Solar. Yeah, months ago, we told you Vision Solar was sued by the Arizona Attorney General. They were accused of lying to customers and then making illegal telemarketing calls. Well, now we've learned the company's license has been suspended. So on your side, Susan Campbell is here with all the details. Good yes, morning. This is a big deal. So investigators say they found all kinds of violations at a job site and the company's suspension is now for 10 days. So that means Vision Solar can't do any work on projects here in Arizona. They're also being fined $500 for abandoning that job. Solar panels seemed like a good option for Mark Harris. A couple of my neighbors had gotten solar and uh, I was thinking, gosh, that'd be great. You know, my solar, uh, electric bills are so high. And I got a knock on a door, on the door one day. And this guy came in, had this great plan, sounded like it'd be wonderful. Mark signed a contract with Vision Solar, and the company installed the panels within a few weeks. The first rain I had, um, it, my roof leaked in four places. And fast forward two and a half years, the panels still have never been hooked up. I'd always hear, we understand your frustration, you know. And it got to the point where I realized they didn't understand my frustration or they would be as hopping mad as I was and am. Mark filed a complaint with the Arizona Registrar of Contractors. They did an investigation and found a slew of problems. According to the report, Vision Solar didn't install the panels to code and abandoned the job. This week, the ROC suspended Vision Solar's license for 10 days and fined the company 500 bucks. That punishes them, but it doesn't do anything for me. Um, you know, and here I am 71 years old and I'm going to be paying off this thing for the rest of my life and I'd really like to have it working. It's the latest in a series of issues with Vision Solar. As we reported over the summer, Vision Solar was sued by the Arizona Attorney General's office. The state and the Department of Justice say the company and one of its lead generators called Solar Exchange made illegal telemarketing calls, made false and misleading statements about potential energy savings, and made consumers pay for solar panels that weren't yet installed. According to the lawsuit, Vision Solar's telemarketers even falsely claimed to be affiliated with a utility company or government agency. Salesman come by advertising Arizona was selected by Vision Solar to have free panels, free insulation. At the time, the company's chief marketing officer, Bennett Andelman, acknowledged mistakes. We have grown exponentially as a business over the course of the past four years. We made a lot of mistakes in the process. Vision Solar told us the company was making positive changes. Mark says it hasn't happened. Right now, I've got uh, 38 solar panels sitting on my roof. All of the uh, 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 electrical equipment is sitting in piles on the floor in my garage. And now I'm told by uh, solar companies, you know, they can't come out and install these panels for me because they can't give me any warranty on this. And here's another wrinkle. Employees of Vision Solar reached out to me and told me they were furloughed this week. The company has not responded to my phone calls or emails to confirm that furlough, but I did make oh several gosh. calls to multiple different extensions. Mm -hmm. There wasn't an answer in oh the building. So They're done. They're gone. It's, <laughs> oh. it's frustrating for these customers. I mean, the customer, Mark here, he has a loan for $47,000 on this. And what do you do when the company isn't responding? Yeah. Is, you know, cited for abandoning your job oh and gosh. it's a and mess any, oh, any if you wanted to sell the house nobody wants to take on that loan no. it's a mess so, so uh, there are a lot of unanswered awful. questions for these customers across the state gosh all right we'll see what develops if anything can come of it and really interesting to see the lack of fines and you know reprimand being reprimanded for right we'll oh. keep you posted